Personally, because um, I'm on the um, overtime desire list, um, the 10 hours, 12 hours in um, day so. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, they haven't been doing a lot of um, calling, calling us to come in for overtime. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, you do your eight hours, and then they tell you to, you know, get off the clock. You know, you got to get off the clock. Or some days, if you're lucky enough, you can get 10, you know, 10 hours a day. But at first, it used to be like at least 12 hours every day. 12 hours for the regulars every day. So, yeah, people are not happy about so it. Not and only are they taking the overtime, they're taking the machines, and now we're having staffing issues. You know, I think a lot of times when we make laws, or, or in this particular case, that's a rule that we made internally, we, we must always look at the impact. And I, I just believe that even the changes that he went in and made, he never expected uh, the, the, the outcry across this country. I guess he thought people weren't paying attention. I guess he uh, thought that maybe the post office didn't matter and postal service didn't matter to people. So I, I mean, those are the kinds of questions that I want answered. Why'd you turn these machines off? Mm -hmm. For what purpose? Why, why now? So I'm gonna ask him if he, if he realizes who's impacted. Yeah. I mean, veterans, I mean, and in fact, who, who really uses the mail service? Yeah. You know, and now, because of COVID, there are more people who have to use it.